For this problem, we want to use the graph of f to determine a, the domain of f of x, b, the range of f of x, c, f of 2, and d, any x values for which f of x equals negative 2. For letter a, the domain of f of x is a set of all x values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of x is negative 3 and the highest value of x is 4. However, the point where x is equal to 4 does not exist, so we cannot include this point. This means that x is between negative 3 inclusive and 4 exclusive. So we can write the domain as negative 3, 4, with a bracket on the left side because negative 3 is included, and the parenthesis on the right because 4 is excluded. For letter b, the range of f of x is the set of all y values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of y is negative 2 and that the highest value of y is positive 2. However, the y values between negative 2 and negative 1 and the y values between 1 and 2 do not exist. The point 0, negative 1 does exist, so we can include negative 1. The point 2, 1 does not exist, so we cannot include 1. This means that y is equal to negative 2 between negative 1 inclusive and 1 exclusive and equal to 2. So we can write the domain as negative 2 and negative 1, 1 with a bracket on the left because negative 1 is included and the parenthesis on the right because 1 is excluded and 2. For letter C, f of 2 is the value of the function when x is equal to 2. Looking at the graph, we can see that when x is 2, y is equal to 2. So f of 2 is equal to 2. For letter D, we want to find any x values for which f of x equals negative 2. Looking at the graph, we can see that when y is negative 2, x is between negative 3 and 0. However, we cannot include the point 0, negative 2 because it does not exist. So the answer for letter D is that x is between negative 3 inclusive and 0 exclusive.